So we just made it to Singapore last night and today is our first impression day. So basically on day one, what we like to do is just walk around and get, get lost. lost. <laughs> like see what the city has to offer, kind of plan the rest of our week because who knows? There's a lot of things to do here and we kind of need to prioritize that. And this morning we recruited some help. <laughs> Our hotel is currently located in Little India. I'm not sure if you can tell, but we're gonna come back here and explore more later. Okay, okay, okay. I know I always talk about adventure, but sometimes like buses like that are the best way to give you a good idea of what's around first. So one of the perks of being on the hop on hop off is uh, you can see around you. And as we all know, Tracy gets attracted by bright colors. And we saw this place full of different colors. We're like, let's get off. Let's see what it is. So we are currently at Clark Quay. Just gonna walk around. Looks like there's some really cool restaurants too, which would be cool to come back for. But yeah, let's see. This square is a super cool spot, but right now most of the things are closed. Apparently it's like the party scene of Singapore here from what I understand. All the bars are yeah. saying like open until 3 a.m. So maybe <laughs> we'll come back later. Not until 3 a.m. though. Yeah, no. <laughs> Tracy saw the swing and she really yeah. wanted to sit here and swing for a minute. <laughs> I think they're cute. They're actually just like everywhere along this little path here. <laughs> okay. I think it's a bit cute. It's been a minute. <laughs> back on the bus. The worst thing that can happen to you is when the double decker, the second story is full. Awful. Awful. So we just arrived at the Singapore Botanical Garden, which is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yeah. So fun fact. Yeah. Also, in this video, I might say Singapore is a country, Singapore is a city, but they're both true. Singapore yeah. is a sovereign city, they're their own country, but it's still just a city. And talking about that, going back to Botanical Garden, Garden, Gordon, Gordon. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this uh, country actually is the greenest country in the entire world. About half of the country is just green spaces, parks, forests. So it's quite impressive. Very large. Guys, the botanical garden is so much than just like plants and flowers. There's like swans and there's this massive lizards looking for bugs. Mm. Our bus is there. I don't want to miss it. Run, 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 run. So botanical garden very nice i mean if you're if it's your jam like parks yeah. and things like that it's so, a beautiful area and most of it is free i did want to go into the orchard garden part um but sorry orchid but that part you do have to pay extra for so just note that you can walk around the other as like a big park and yep. then others additives onto it if you want okay so right now we are actually in the orchard i'm gonna say district but it's orchard road this is the more famous road for your shopping. What I would say, basically your shopping hub, shopping district. We've already passed places like H&M, obviously Victoria's Secret and everything, but further down is all your big name brands. Like what was one that I saw? I don't know. Like Coach, but more expensive. I can't think of the word. I'm not a name brand person. That's why you can tell I don't know what I'm talking about. We don't shop these brands much. <laughs> However, <laughs> this is the road if you want to shop. <laughs> So we'll come back to explore this area later on, but now we are on the hunt for the national dish of Singapore, which I'm very excited about. Sometimes I stop the film and then Tracy just, she just leaves. It's always, I go to look behind me because I'm about to say something and then you just know where to be found. 
Also, we are here during the Chinese New Year, which is huge here in Singapore, and they're celebrating the Year of the Dragon. <laughs> Welcome to Dancing Crab. So the number one thing that you have to eat here in Singapore is called chili crab. It is, well, exactly what it sounds like, chili and crab. So we just ordered one. We are in a very popular and highly rated place. It's cool looking and I'm excited. Me too. So the funny part is, is I don't even know if I like crab. I don't. It's very rare that I've had crab and I can't think back like, do I like it, do I not? Anyways, I'm sure the sauce is gonna be good and I like seafood, so. Should be fine? We shall see. <laughs> Our crab just arrived. They gave us bibs. <clears throat> and on top of the bibs, you're not allowed to use utensils. You, I mean, you can. There's but. literally signs in the restaurant that says hands only. Yeah. So, so yeah, put your gloves on. Guys, let's, let's go. I don't know where to go first. Yeah. Oh, it's empty here anyway. So let's just pull this guy off. Okay, let me just yeah, take try, off this try the sauce. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah. I don't like the look of crab. Oh, that's so good. The sauce is fantastic. I feel like it's gonna explode. There you go. The sauce is really, really good. I'm unsure how I feel about crab. You don't like it? But the sauce is fantastic. The sauce is like the best. The quality of the crab is fantastic and it's live crab like. They have like an aquarium, they just pick your crab and cook it. I know it says like no utensil, but it's easier. We're tapping out, but we ate like most of the crab, just a little bit of chili and a lot of the bread left, but like. That was great. So chili crab, first of all, let me tell you, it is not cheap. The chili crab yeah. itself was 138 Singaporean dollar, but For we've two looked- live, like they kill them right there, yeah. in, on the spot. But it definitely feeds two people, but we yeah. look at many different locations and it's all like fairly expensive, even though it's a national dish. Now, yeah. in terms of taste, I thought it was really good. Some of the best crab I ever had. With that being said, with all the national dish that we ever tried, is this my favorite? No, it's not. So here's the thing too, I'm not a huge seafood person, so mm. I feel like I'm not one that truly appreciates it. However, the sauce, so good. the chili stuff that goes on the crab, yeah. absolutely and fantastic. And you get a ton of crab too, so. So yeah, that's just that's just me not liking yeah. the crab. <laughs> I like it. So as we were walking, we saw this crazy line at a food stand. It's called Uncle Xiang, and just like that, we're in line. <laughs> So I got durian ice cream, which is that stinky fruit, but it doesn't stink at all. Tracy got I'm... salted caramel because she's not as adventurous. Oh, I still got to try, but the thing about <laughs> also, this is literally... They took I mean, ice cream good. sandwich to an all new level, like it's wrapped in bread. Mm -hmm. Mine goes in a wafer. Mm. Yeah? It's pretty good. I want to try the ice cream first by itself. I can see how durian itself would be... Weird. Bad. <laughs> but for an ice cream... That's good in ice cream. So after doing a little bit of research, uh, we realized that Uncle Cheng there is some sort of celebrity. He started to sell ice cream in Singapore at the age of 16, and that was back in 1965. And now he's 74 years old, still hustling, and it's pretty good. I wanted to ask you, did you, did the bread have any flavor? Yeah, the bread was like a sweet bread with some pink something on okay. it. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I really liked my wafer one because you had the perfect ratio. If you love um, waffle cones, Perfect ratio of crunch to ice cream. Highly recommend. If ever in Singapore, go see Uncle Chang. So now we are walking towards the most famous building slash place in the entire country of Singapore. It's kind of their icon. I've seen it all over um, the internet. So now I'm very excited that uh, we're gonna go see there and then, then up there as well. And by the way, super easy to walk around Singapore. That's a cool car. A bit loud for <laughs> vlogging, but uh, 
Yeah, the entire country of Singapore is only 50, 50 kilometers by 26 kilometers. So you can you can literally walk it in one day if you really want to. So as much as the city is super pedestrian friendly, like super wide sidewalks and everything like that, the lights. <laughs> The lights take a really long time sometimes. And if you jaywalk, you go to jail. Okay, no, but still, Singapore is a very strict country, so follow the rules. Thank you. Thank you very much. Get ready, because Singapore, again, is the Switzerland of Asia. Just a bottle of water, $3.10. That's so expensive. So this beside us is the famous Marina Bay, but change of plans, even though we have tickets, they're full for the day. There's a crazy line and they're not but letting people they even let up you, anyway. Like they even tell you to pick your time slot and we picked our time slot and they're like, yeah, they're slot. like, you had to come even before. I was like, yeah, but we're still in our time slot. Anyway, so we're gonna yeah. come back tomorrow. It's gonna be still in she this did, video, so stay posted. She did tell us the best time to come. So if you're wondering, it opens at 11. She said at 11, yeah. don't bother coming. She She's was like, very nice like about it, but I have a people. ticket for today with a time slot, but apparently I can't use it. So, so tomorrow around one, she says, best time. We'll be back. So since we're here, decided to come in at least and see inside the hotel. This is like the most expensive hotel in Singapore. It has over 2,100 rooms. It and looks it, fancy, fancy. Yeah, it was inspired by a deck of cards, the way the buildings are, like the pyramids with the top. That's, that's the inspiration okay. for it. Ah. If you're a Disney fan, this hotel inside looks like the contemporary hotel in Orlando Disney World. If you know, you know, but the Disney one is cooler because they have a monorail going through it. This one doesn't. So behind me is the casino and because of the price of this building, this makes it the most expensive casino in the entire world. We're not going to go in first because we don't, we're not casino people, but also because you can't film inside. They actually put people to jail not too long ago because they filmed inside the casino. I'm not risking that. No, also, sorry. in the basement of the hotel, they have like this luxury mall with all the like Louis Vuitton and Omega watches, bows and like all these Brands things. It's like Rolex. So many. Everything is so expensive here. Don't touch anything, Tracy. No. I'm trying to convince uh, Tracy to go on the slingshot. There's but not she doesn't even a want conversation. to. Like, it's, it's, it's no. And I can't go alone because otherwise it's off balance, so you have to be a pack of two. Guess we're not doing it. <laughs> not changing your mind? This is the one thing we do not see eye to eye on. <laughs> Never. And it's not even like little compromise, it's just like. It's yes and no, black and white. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> just in case you didn't recognize it, we're back yeah. to where it all started. What's the name of this building? Clark Quay. Clark Quay. Yeah, there's even like a mall across the river, but yeah. we're gonna We're see. gonna check it out. Otherwise, everything is like slowly opening, so I think yeah. it's gonna be a vibe uh, in a couple hours. Agreed. Okay, so in Asia, they sell the original Red Bull. Did you already open this? Yes, of oh, course. Okay. <laughs> I was like, that looks weird. It smells the same. It's not bubbly and it's thick. It's not bubbly. And it's thick. Oh yeah, I see that. It's like syrup. I don't like it. Anyway, I'm glad we tried it. Even though Singapore is a super strict country, like you're not allowed to like chew gum, you're not allowed to smoke in public or anything like that, you are allowed to drink beer, yeah. wine or whatever you want in public, but before 10.30 p.m. for some obscure reason. After part, that, you're pushing it. The one thing that I really like that we've noticed is like when we've driven past like parks or mm. even like nice areas like this on the side of the river. Yeah, people, people actually use them. Like, There's people having picnics and drinks yeah. everywhere, which is nice. I really like it. So, it's got a little bit of a Vegas feel down here. We said everything doesn't open until late. There's even a shots and go counter. Buy 10 <laughs> shots, get two free. Let's not mention the fact that those shots are $20 each. So we finally found a spot to eat. We're at a Mexican place. Now before, it's called it's called Sancho's Mexican Bar and Grill. Before you come after us. <laughs> so last night we ate Indian food because we're just outside Little India. We'll show you that later. But, Tomorrow probably. Yes. It, it's super cool. I love it. It is really nice. However, there is every type of food imaginable here in Singapore. Like on the same strip that we're in the Mexican restaurant, mm. I can see a Turkish, I can see Lebanese, there's seafood down there. There's literally anything you want. 
So, and it's not just this area, it's all over Singapore. Yeah. Singapore basically has a very international culture because the percentage yeah. of actually Singaporean people living in Singapore is single digit. Yeah. Most people here are actually Chinese, Indian, and Malay. Yeah. So it's very international, which is, it's cool. It's like Dubai a little bit. It's very interesting. It yeah. took me a little bit of a while to get used to it, to be honest, because I was looking for like just that Singapore restaurant. And don't be wrong, I'm sure there are some. I'll see later on our series. Yeah. <laughs> um, however, in this place specifically, do we see where we are? Park yes. Party. Oh yeah, but I said the Sancho Mexican oh. Grill and Bar. Yeah, we're on the river. <laughs> right now I'm very happy to eat Mexican food. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. That's a tiger, it's the local beer, the most popular one here in Singapore. It's very nice even though Tracy can't drink. Um, it's because I couldn't taste it because all I have is foam right now. The one thing about alcohol here in Singapore is that it's extremely expensive. They pay duty taxes and an extra governmental taxes on it. So like this beer is 15 Singaporean dollar, which is insane. And it's like that everywhere. Even at the 7-Eleven, we looked at like a little tiny can of Tiger beer and it was $7. Insane. Yeah. So we've got the duck tacos? Bar barbacoa tacos for two, which consists of coffee duck. And it looks really Watch nice. Watch out, you spread that out over six. <laughs> <laughs> So nice supper, definitely not worth what we paid for, 113 Singaporean dollar. It is insane. Everywhere we go, even in like, even the convenience stores are expensive. However, like it's just, you, you just gotta accept it. If you see any clip of tomorrow, I'm not sure how much you're putting out of tomorrow, but um, <laughs> we're gonna level off 7-Eleven sushi trying. Oh yeah, for sure. Much cheaper, much more affordable for me. Yeah. Anyway, otherwise like the restaurant where we were was pretty good. Yeah. Um, the area in general is just so it's fun, especially really if you want to have a few drinks on the weekend, that's the spot. Yeah, I now agree. we are about 30 minute walk back to our hotel, which we're gonna walk to save some money on taxis. And we're gonna show you our hotel room, it's pretty good. <laughs> At this intersection, there's a tower full of Ferraris and Porsches. It looks insane. I think it's real. The car building there is so confusing. There is nothing in that building. It's a tiny building that can barely fit one car per floor and there's nothing at the bottom. Like who pays to showcase eight million or ten million dollars worth of cars? Not me. Welcome back to our hotel. We are at Citizens, basically on the edge of Little India called Rochar, Singapore. Quick quick room tour. We have a kitchenette here. We have a small bathroom here. There's a fridge in there as well, more condo style. Um, and then we have our bed, a seating area. Yeah, rooms are fairly small, but it seems to be that way in Singapore unless you're gonna pay the big bucks. And this was a decent price considering it's also Chinese New Year right now. So that's why we chose it, right beside Little India. And I'll turn like it's down below. <laughs> Sorry, what you can't see is David going. <laughs> we have a booking link we'll put down below for you. <laughs> Time for us to go to bed, but stay posted because tomorrow, in the same video, we are gonna redeem ourselves for the Marina Bay Sand. We're bringing you guys up, up, yep. and and more. So, I I knew it was gonna be busy, but I wasn't expecting that. So took us off guard. Yeah, but stay posted. Good morning. We overslept a little. So, change of plans, we wanted to go to Little India first, but we're going to do the opposite. We're going to go to Marina Bay because we want to be bulletproof. We don't want to miss that. can't mess it up again. Yeah, because tomorrow, ah, uh, tomorrow we can't go there. You'll see. <laughs> so, we're going to just uh, go grab breakfast along the way and make our way to uh, the coolest building in the country. Yeah, back at 7-Eleven, the perfect place to get breakfast. Tracy, chocolate is not breakfast. Come. They have new chocolates. 7-Eleven, we see everyone eating these basically. <laughs> and I remember it's gonna tell on our day one because we did a little bit of like a, I don't know, that's, six hour getting Yeah, here, that's why you basically. should uh, become a channel member. <laughs> but what these are is they're sushi triangles from 7-Eleven. They're like 2 dollars each. Yeah. And they're so good. And they have like all kinds of flavor. So we originally on the first one, we tried like the tuna and salmon. 
But this time, just because it's weird and wacky, we decided to try chicken teriyaki and smoked ham and cheese. It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. It's like the perfect snack on the go. Mm -hmm. So we did get caught in a little bit of rain coming out, but surprisingly, most of the sidewalks, I would say over 50% of them, still have a covering. Um, there's a lot of bus stations around. Right now we're currently in a bus station, but like it's covered for two blocks. I'll take it. And we are back to the Marine Bay Sands. Do you think we're gonna be able to go up this time, Tracy? I think so, but I'm not gonna lie, I have a little extra sweat on me this time. <laughs> it's very humid. Ooh. So we just made it to the hotel. We are in line for the observation bed right now. It is 12.38. The line is much shorter than what it was yesterday when we first <laughs> arrived, but we'll see how long it's gonna take. I'd say an hour. Yeah, sounds good. Right. Another triangle? Yeah. You see, they fill them right there. Ooh. I can feel it. And we're in. No sweat. It's all so easy. Got news for you. Got moves for you. Got energy like chemistry so seamlessly. So welcome on top of the Marina Bay Hotel, which opened in 2010. There's 2,561 rooms and currently we are at 198 meters uh, from the ground. But the fun yeah. fact is the building is actually longer than higher. That's crazy. It is 300 crazy. meters long, which is longer than the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Crazy. Put in perspective, floor 56, I think this is what we yeah, came up Yeah, and by. there's 57 floor. The only thing that's higher than us is a little uh, bar restaurant yeah. up there. And the pool, actually, if you go over on the, the other, other side, side with the hotel guests. Yeah, um, one day. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll afford that. It is nice, though, because you can see. Yeah. <laughs> it's an you infinity can... pool, 56 floor high. <laughs> you can see everything around. So we have, like, the cloud forest, uh, gardens by the bay mm -hmm. here. We have the time capsule and the single flyer there. All things that we're going to do in the next video, so stay posted. Yeah, yeah. so in case you're wondering how much it is to come up here it's I believe 32 Singaporean dollar to come up um, but there is a hack that we're gonna hopefully try out in another video um, basically to go to the bar and then your entrance to the top is free we'll see if that works we've heard about it but I'm not too sure yet we'll, we'll confirm that well overall an amazing view we did get caught by the rain a little bit but you know it's part of the adventure now it's time to go back to the elevator and see if we get um, caught by the tourist trap. <laughs> How much are they? Fifty-five dollars. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you. So they take a picture of you, like when you first arrive in the building, and they try to sell you to you at the end. And it's quite nice. Like it's a cool background and stuff. But they sell it for fifty-five dollars. I was like, no way. I thought it was gonna be like twenty. No, fifty-five. And it's pouring rain again. So we're gonna hang out here a little bit before taking you guys to Little India. I'm very excited about that because Indian food is the best food in the oh, world. It Agrees? Is. I actually think it hey, is my I favorite. Thought, I thought. <laughs> Between the hotel, all the shop, and the different activities that you can do here, including the casino, over 120 thousand people come to this resort every single day and the casino itself gets 25,000 people a day that's a lot of people yeah. so into the shopping area we just walked a little bit and there's a two-story Louis Vuitton store over there that's crazy and then right beside it you have like Cartier there's like all the sorry I didn't know what was happening <laughs> we just <laughs> the... walked with a oh, dragon there's more coming <laughs> Anyways, all that to say, there is not a non-name brand store in this mall. Crazy. It's like 25 times bigger than what I expected because yesterday we kind of went down and I thought that was it. No, like it comes out to the other side to a full-on luxury mall. Again, when I say that Singapore has some strict rules, look at this one. Please observe safe distancing and avoid talking during your ride. Due to weather, we are trying local transportation here in Singapore. Will we get lost? Stay posted and you'll find out. <laughs> Welcome to Little India. A little bit of like hustle and bustle, very colorful, just like real India, which we love. So we're gonna go first to uh, a market. It's a massive market with like fruits and vegetable, um, street food as well, and a it's little bit of everything. Right across from our hotel. Yeah, it's right there.
This market feels like we're completely outside of Singapore now into another country, which I love. It's super cool. And we just ordered um, some butter chicken with naan. We'll see if it's as good as it was in India. It's, okay, the naan is really hot, obviously. Perfect consistency. It's so doughy. The naan bread is some of the best I ever had, to be honest. The butter chicken is super good, different than what we normally get, but still super good. Just a little bit more on the tomato side. Mm. So I went for the sweet option of chocolate. Um, it reminds me of like beaver tail almost, you're just like a fried dough. Really now that the bellies are full, we're gonna go to the second floor. The second floor is the actual market. The first floor is just like you saw, like food stands. So let's see what they have up here. So as you can see in Singapore, the Indian influence is huge because 8% of the population of the country is actually from Indian descent. They are the third largest ethnic group in the country after uh, Chinese and Malay people. The street just outside the market is mainly for like flower arrangement that they use for offerings at the temple. So like the smell here is very nice compared to the fish market in there. I love how multicultural Singapore is. On the same street, about 500 meters apart, there's an Hindu temple and then a mosque, and everyone lives happily ever after. As much as Singapore is strict, little India, they do their own thing. Like, these trucks are not delivery trucks, they're people trucks. <laughs> Just a bunch of people hack up in the back of those trucks and going places. Offer, offer, one packet, three dollars, two packet, five dollars. This part of town, honestly, is so colorful and alive. Like, you have so many people going around they just smell like the Indian food everywhere you walk and not only that, like the murals, they're pretty much on every big like empty face of a building. Really nice. So Little India is definitely a vibe, a must visit when you're in Singapore. So far, it's like one of my favorite area, not only for like all the hustle and bustle, the colors, but also because the food is just the best. <laughs> um, I think it really goes to show the two different sizes that Singapore can have. Mm -hmm. Like today, we ate for under $25 for both of us total, and we yeah. haven't done supper yet. Compared but then yesterday, yesterday, which was like $300. Yeah. So, there really is something here that kind of shows the diversity for it. Come, come eat naan bread, it's much cheaper oh, and it's so delicious good. too. So, so like, yeah, it's a <laughs> little India's a win. Back on the train. So we just came back beside the Marina Bay Sand Hotel yeah. once again because every single night, twice a night actually during the weekend, three times a night during the weekend, there's actually a light and water show. So right now we are just sitting on the ground with thousands of people waiting for the and show to start. it's only gonna get worse because it's only quarter after seven and it starts at eight. So it's gonna be fun getting out of here. But before Anyways. we show you the show, we thought we would uh, give you our little uh, first, first impression of Singapore. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be honest. When I first arrived, I couldn't get a read on Singapore, to be completely honest. It doesn't help that we're staying right beside Little India as well. Um, normally we show up and like you can feel the culture right away. I think what happened here is there's so many cultures in Singapore mm -hmm. and that is Singapore's culture yeah. as of right now. This could change but like I love Little India, I love the other places we've gone to and to be honest I'm biased right now, Little India is like my favorite little <laughs> Fair <little> enough. <laughs> but like it's not that Singapore doesn't really have its own culture, it's that like it's just that the culture of Singapore is a mix of Chinese, yeah. Indian and Malay. Basically 76% of people living in this country are from Chinese yeah. descent. And so, like yeah. I said, this could change change because we have some other things planned throughout the week which I'm hoping will give us more insight into mm -hmm. Singapore culture. Singapore as a whole, it's a, it's a small country but yeah. very developed, very modern. I like the walkability of it yeah, too. Super walkable but a lot of like you know restaurants, a lot of tourist yeah. attraction, a lot of malls, a lot of buildings and everything. So if you're looking to go deep into a culture or something, Singapore might not be it. But if you like the little touristy stuff and you know 
go out for dinner and yeah. have great There's meals and everything, that's the place to be. To do. Yeah, and talking about touristy um, stuff, stay posted for the next video. Yeah. That's as touristy as it gets, but it's the most, it's my favorite thing to do. Side note, I have to say I don't think the hop on, hop off big bus is worth it here. Not worth it, no. Don't do it. It's too walkable, I'll just walk. I mean, if you have no other option, go for it. But yeah. And train is much cheaper. Okay, let's wait for the show now. When it all breaks down, I'm reaching out for you. Super cool. I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, now it's going to be a nightmare to get out of here and it's not going to be very entertaining for you guys. So until next time, see you guys. <laughs> the next one. Follow me, Tracy. Choo choo! <laughs>